For this video, I'll discuss on Math 7 Module, Quarter 2, Week Number 3. So, Week Number 3 is about Algebraic Expressions. So, in the English subject, you learn about phrases and sentences. Mathematics has also mathematical phrases and sentences. You have to translate verbal phrases to mathematical symbol to form mathematical phrases. Mathematical phrase consists of operational symbols like plus, minus, open and close parentheses, or x or for multiplication, plus, or, slash for division. Then there is or are corresponding words for these symbols. Aside from the operational symbols, it also includes variables and numbers. So, let her, so let's have learning task number one. What mathematical operation corresponds to the following words? Do this in a separate sheet of paper. So mathematical term is sum. So sum is addition. Increased by addition difference. So you know what is the symbol or operation for difference. Decrease by and less than all of these three. This is minus. Then product is multiplication. Then quotient division. Okay. Times is multiplication divided by automatically division. Okay. More than that will be plus. In mathematics, you cannot do away with symbols. Mathematical word problems cannot be solved unless you translate it into symbols. Symbols used for operations are called operational symbols, while symbols used to determine relation between quantities are called relational symbols. So, operational symbols, first column, plus sign, minus sign, multiplication sign, then words associated to these symbols, so plus sign is plus, add, increase by, more than, sum of. Then for minus sign is minus, subtract, subtract from, decreases by, diminish, then difference, or differ. Then for multiplication is multiply, multiplied by, the product of, times, no symbol between variables means multiplication. Then another operational symbols here, division sign or bar sign. So it means divide quotient ratio. Then involution exponent, raised to the power of squared cube and so on. Then evolution, radical sign. So for radical sign, and truths where n is any positive integer. So in grammar, a phrase is a group of words that does not express complete thoughts. Mathematical phrase does not express a complete thought also unless it becomes an equation. Examples, translate the following to mathematical symbols. Number one. Trice the sum of 5 and a number. So we can represent here the number as m. We can let m be the number. So sum of 5 and a number, that will be 5 plus m, or you can have that one as m plus 5. Then trice means 3 times. So we're going to multiply 5 plus m. Enclose it with parentheses, multiply it with 3 from thrice. Okay, that's the translation of thrice the sum of 5 and a number. Number 2, subtract 2 thirds of the number from 30. Okay, so again we are going to represent uh, the number by a variable. So in here, in the example, it used x so let x be the number so two-thirds of a number the word of means multiply okay 
two-thirds of the numbers are going to multiply two-thirds times x. Then, since we're going to subtract this one, subtract two-thirds of the number from 30, so we're going to have 30 minus two-thirds x. Okay? So, that is from the word from. Number three, one of the square root of twice the square of the number. Okay? So, in here, we're going to use y as our number. So, let y be the number. So, twice the square of the number, that will be 2y squared. Then, it says in the mathematical phrase, square root of twice the square of the number. So, we're going to have the square root of 2y squared. Okay? Then, in the phrase, it, is, it says one half the square root of twice the square of the number. So we're going to have its half or one half. So we can have that one as square root of 2y squared over 2 or we can have another one is one half of square root of 2y squared. It means the same. Number four, translate 2x minus 5 to verbal phrase. So, solution, 2x means twice a number. So, we are going to have our possible verbal phrase as twice a number decreased by 5 or subtract 5 from twice a number. In the above examples, the mathematical phrases are called algebraic expressions. Algebraic expression can be a number a single variable or a combination of letters, numbers, and operational symbols. Examples A, 3, then we can have M, negative 5X, 3Y, 7XY. So these are algebraic expressions with one term. Letter B, 4X squared minus 8XY, and XY plus 5. These are algebraic expressions with two terms. So, terms in algebraic expression are separated by plus or minus signs. Okay? So, these two operations separates the, or separate the algebraic expression into terms. So, when the operation between variables or variable and number is multiplication or division, it is considered as one term only. For x, y, z, or 4 times x times y times z is a single term, algebraic expression. So as 24x over a times b, I think this is the one. Then since the operations involve are multiplication and division. Okay, so if the operation is multiplication or division, automatically it is only one term. Algebraic expressions are named according to number of terms. A, monomial. So, monomial is an algebraic expression with only one term. When you, when you have two terms, it is called as binomial. Then, three terms, that will be trinomial. Then, multinomial or polynomial is an algebraic expression with more than three terms. So, four up. So, four terms and up, that will be called as multinomial or polynomial. Then the degree of the algebraic expressions is the highest exponent of an expression with one variable or the highest sum of the exponents of the variables in a term of the expressions. So the constant of the algebraic expression is a number with fixed value. So there's no variable or letter. A variable is a letter which represents a number. Examples, number 1, 5x to the power of 4 minus 3x plus 12. So, the expression here is a trinomial. So, this is the first term, 5x to the power of 4. Second term, 3x. And third term is 12. So, they are separated by minus sign here and plus sign. So, there are three terms. So, it is called as trinomial. 
So the degree is 4. So the highest exponent is 4. So the degree is 4. Then the variable is x and the constant is 12. So the constant here is the third term, 12. Number 2. 3x squared yz plus x cubed yz squared minus 2xyz plus 4xy squared z. So if we're going to count the number of terms, this will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So there are 4 terms. So this is called as multinomial or you can name this one as polynomial. And the variables here are x, y, and z. Then the highest sum of the exponents is 6, which is on the second term. So if we're going to look at the second term here, x cubed y z squared, if we're going to add the exponents, 3 for x, 1 for y, that will be 3 plus 1, that will be 4, and 2 for z, so you're going to have 4 plus 2, that is 6. Okay? So the highest sum of the exponents is 6. And it is found on second term. Hence, the degree is 6. So, the degree of this multinomial or polynomial is 6. And there is no constant in this expression. Okay? You cannot see a constant or you cannot find a constant here. Okay? There is no term without a variable. So, I hope that it's clear to you. So, anyways, you can just comment below if you have uh, questions about this topic so let's go to learning task number two a match the verbal phrase in column a with mathematical phrase in column b so in here i will just answer the first one so the first one is the difference between a number and a five a Difference between a number and a 5, so difference that will be subtraction. So you're going to look at column B with subtraction, okay? So in 5 items in column B, there are 2, ter two items only with subtraction or difference. That would be letter B and letter C. But the given is difference between a number and 5. So we can have our answer for number 1 as letter C, M minus 5 where the variable here is represented by m, okay? So, difference between a number and 5 is m minus 5. So, just do numbers 2 to 5 for learning task number 2a. And for letter b, identify the kind of algebraic expression and determine the degree, variables, and constant, okay? So, I'll just answer number 1. So, for number 1, 7x plus 4x cubed minus 17. So, there are 1, 2, 3 terms. So, this is a trinomial. This is a trinomial. Then, the variables used here is x or variable used x. Then the highest exponent, so for sec first term is 7x, 1. Second term is 4x cubed. The exponent here is 3. And the third term is a constant here, so the highest exponent is 3, so this is degree 3. And the constant here, for a, for a constant, the constant is 17. So this is the term without variable. So kindly do numbers 2, 3, 4, and 5. Learning task number three. Express the following to mathematical symbol. Write your answers in your answer sheet. Number one. Zab is X years old now. What is his age seven years from now? So if Zab is X years old now, his age is X. Okay. So, what is his age 7 years from now? So, 7 years from now, if you are going to have 10 years, so if you are 10 years old right now, or if Zab is 10 years old, so in 7 years, he will be 17. So, he will just add 7. So, we're going to have our mathematical 
symbol as x plus 7. So, kindly answer numbers 2, 3, and 4. So, just apply what you have learned in this module that I have discussed a while ago. So, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.